Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. I'm coming to pick that. That a boy, Mule. I think it's definitely, definitely just snowing between the business and fun. I think it's sort of a combination thing. You just got to know, you got to know the right time when to have fun, and you got to know uh, when you got to get focused and uh, get down to business. Let's last, line, line. Let's last, line, line. <sighs> The one-hander. You guys want me to punt some balls for you? Want me to kick them? Want me to kick some balls for you guys? Huh? Yeah. You want me to kick some balls? Break, break this. Break. <laughs> All right, I got you. You good? Don't go on like that. Hey, you got something you want to say to the camera? Hey, this my boy Aaron here. Yeah, man. I mean, he be delivering hits, not to me, but. <laughs> That's a lie. I met him in a hole. He tried to say that he wasn't trying to run me slap, but he actually did try. But he did he didn't succeed. This film for everything. You can go watch. <laughs> Always gotta give a shout out to Mike. Uh yeah, so Mike, man, we're here in Houston. Uh first day of practice. You don't have a microphone. Life's about moments. We want to have a great moment. So continue to build on it, be a professional tonight, and look forward to practice tomorrow. All right? Hard work. Now you can have a little bit of fun. Break it up. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Rodeo Bowl was a, that's a great experience. It's definitely a change. I mean, being in Houston, uh, being able to go out to the rodeo, uh, some people have never seen uh, like up close bulls and cattle. Just to see all of these these guys run around looking foolish, slipping and sliding in the mud with with, with cows and stuff. Um, it, it was great. And outside of football and everything, I, I think those are the memories that I'm really gonna gonna run away with here. Uh, the, the off the field chemistry. The most memorable one was Duke McGee when <laughs> him and Ernie both tackled it, but Duke flew in front of, actually they have a GoPro camera, I think, of him flying in front of the camera and getting bucked off the front of the calf. So that was, uh, that was definitely a memorable moment. I'm mic'd I'm up right now, Adam. Adam, look straight, Adam. I'm mic'd up right now. Tell us what's in the sack. 
I ain't telling you what's in the sack. <laughs> what's it's, in the it's sack? Like the secret, it's like the secret security. Is, I ain't telling you. Go for next. We got Adam Clark in the middle. Damian Wilson on the right. Yeah, right. And you're not. What? Now you up in practice. Hey, he can hit that. Liz, why under switch? I want it. Got me. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't know the play, y'all. I just guess. No. Why did he hit it? Good job, good job. Lucky guess. Coming to Texas, a different culture change, a different atmosphere change, and going out there in your short sleeves, just laughing and joking around with, the, with your teammates, and it's just fun. Hold up with the tripping. Yeah. I ain't never sipping. Yeah. Keep it cripping. Flag to my left. Running out of breath. 48T, I'm quick, right? Hey. Mike Chick, y'all watch this catch, man. It's for Gopher Nation. Go oh, get it! That's Gopher Nation all day. All right, good job there. If it's a run, we definitely got to keep crossing. If it's a pass, find that vertical seam. Okay, if it's there, take it. If it's not, Keep on going to find it, all right? Under move, left heel, orange flop, on quick. Good, right there, go down. Good. He walked, even if he walks up, he's going down in, who's got him? Guard. So you can actually send two down in there. You go to widest, all right? Let's go ahead and run this again. Execute, the players pick it up, make plays, that's simple. Everybody with me on that? I want to be able to look and see that damn trophy hosted up going back to the Twin Cities. That's what we've worked hard for. We've done great things. This just finishes the track. Get a little breakdown, we're out. All right, feel me on three, one, two, three. Bam. It's college football in late December, and the University of Minnesota likes the sounds of that. The roof is open at this Goliath NFL football stadium, so we have a slight bite in the air, and the feel of outdoor football in Texas is upcoming. Here's a little reverse play, and it comes near side to the far side. It's a steam, and he's got a head of steam. Ball comes out, but they whistle him dead. After further review, the ruling is that the ball was fumbled, recovered by Minnesota, first and ten. Lighter to pass play action. This time he's got Williams all alone across the 45 and pushed out at midfield. To the right of Leidner is Cobb. Blitz comes, Leidner throws underneath, has his man Williams, and a first down across the 45 to the 47, and a beautiful little crossing flag pattern there. He's got time, fires near side, and it's Fricky at the 30, caught inside the 20 to the 19. The Gophers a big gainer, they beat Brandon Reddish. And a big play there for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. A 29-yard gain from Widener. Philkins the center. Looks under his uh, legs. The snap back, the spot down. The kick is on the way. And it is good. 42-yard field goal as time expires. And the Gophers get on the board. And Minnesota gets within four, 7-3. I'm up in the box. I ain't having any fun. That's not who I am. So here's the deal. I'm going to leave you out there. We're going to play. And Justin Gardner, looks like we have some developing news. Do we see a head coach on the sideline? Yeah, you certainly do. You know, I was in the locker room and I saw him grab a jacket. That probably should have been my first clue. We'll keep an eye on that, obviously, uh, as the second half rolls on. In motion, Goodyear. They blitz again. They have about every play. Nelson flushed, gives the pass out to Cobb, turns it up and has a first down out of the backfield of the 35. Took a big hit. The handoff comes to Morris the third. He's hit and dropped in the backfield. And a big hit out there by Cedric Thompson. 
Hunt on a play action, going to keep, gets to the one, dies forward, touchdown, Orange. Quarterback draw all the way. He faked the handoff, faked the pass, and then went right up the middle. In motion is Williams. Another blitz. Handoff Cobb. They run right at the blitz in a big hole. 40 and down to the 37-yard line. Again, a 13 on first down. Cobb the back in the backfield. Blitz comes. Here it is a sellout blitz. They throw toward the corner of the end zone. And it is caught and a touchdown. Max Williams, the redshirt freshman. Like at Michigan, he just fired it up and said, go get it, big guy. He and sure the big did. guy went and got it. <laughs> And we'll see if uh, they don't give him something to talk about. Leidner stays in, handoff to Cobb, breaks it outside, 35, and still on his feet to the 40, now to the 42, a gain of 16. Play action, Leidner all day to throw, looks, fires deep, has a man, while Latarski at the 20, caught, 10, 5, touchdown, Golden Gophers, 55 yards, no flags. Snap is back to Mortel, and the punts away, and a nice spiraling punt, sending Grizzly a steam back to his own 18-yard line. You know, he punted the ball great, and we probably out-punted our coverage, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, but, you know, you tell him not to punt it very good, I mean, then you think about maybe we should have punted out of bounds, but you do that, you know, then you got a chance of shanking it, so we punted the ball well, they executed better than we did, and, uh, you know, it's, you know, as coaches, you, you go back and go 100 times, you know, what we should have done. But again, give them credit. They executed on that particular play better than we did. Back to pass is Hunt. Pressure comes. Escapes the pressure, and he's all alone into the end zone and a touchdown. Blitz again. The underneath pass comes to Williams. He's got a first down at the 45, and he dives to midfield. They'll stop the clock to move the sticks. Snap back to Leidner, has time, over the middle, has got his man, and it's a first down to Max Williams. They'll stop the clock. A blitz comes, including some secondary players. Leidner will fire it up toward the end zone. Wolitarski's down there. It is incomplete off the hands of Wolitarski near the goal line with four seconds left. Last play of the game, Leidner back to pass. Blitz comes again, fires up toward the goal line. The ball is tipped up in the air and incomplete, and the ball game is over, and the Gophers lose another heartbreaker in Houston. The final is Syracuse 21, Minnesota 17. Everybody sit down, right, real quick. All right, everybody just stop. Everybody just stop, take a big deep breath and listen, okay? Number one, you know, we're all disappointed. No question about that. How you handle it and how you deal with it determines what kind of man you are, what kind of person. I know we have a lot of good men in this room. A lot of them, okay? All of them. As I've gone through my journey, um, I've realized the importance of how all the little pieces of the puzzle come together. Um, every day is important, everything that you do year in and year out. And yeah, Minnesota, Minnesota pride all the way. I'll always be a gopher, I'll bleed maroon and gold. And I'm definitely excited to come back uh, in the spring and then also next season to watch, to watch these underclassmen get after it and cheer them on um, to keep fighting towards the dreams and goals that we have of being Big Ten champs um, and going to that Rose Bowl. We don't want to take any steps back, and we want to play in the Big Ten Championship. I mean, we understand that it starts in offseason. It starts, you know, being focused, being disciplined, and doing all those things Coach Skill talks to us about, and just coming together as a team, and the sky's the limit. It's, it's bittersweet, you know. Um, I'm, I'm so excited for the future of this football team, uh, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm so happy just to be able to say that I was part of it, uh, you know, brick by brick, as we say. Uh, this, th this foundation that Coach Kill has laid down, I'm just so, so thankful for the university and for Coach Kill and Coach Savell and the rest of the coaches uh, to, to just to be able to look back and be able to say that uh, I was part of this journey. Uh, I'll, I'll forever be grateful for that. You've done a hell of a job. You done a great job. I'm proud of you. We'll do anything in the world for you. I know you're disappointed. I understand that. But you got a lot of life ahead of you. And I hope we, together, have taught each other how to live life. That's all I can tell you. Everybody take a knee, grab a hand.